Negros Oriental is a laid-back province in Visayas, Philippines, located on the southeastern tip of Negros Island. The province, which is bordered on the north and west by Negros Occidental, is a beautiful mix of tradition and development. Negros Oriental's capital is Dumaguete City. The city's government is likewise located in the capital district. The town strait separates the province from Cebu Island. To the east are Sakihar Island and Apo Island, both known for their diving. From the south of Negros Oriental, the northern regions of Mindanao can be viewed in fair shape. Negros Oriental makes it the favorite tourist spot all over the Philippines. If you haven't heard of the gems found in this place, here are the top places to visit. The Painitan Painitan means, to heat, or, to warm up, in a loose English translation, but in Dumaguete City, the phrase takes on a whole other meaning that allows you to witness the locals' private and unpretentious existence. Located in Dumaguete City's public market area, the restaurant serves hot chocolate, coffee, suman, and budbud, a popular local delicacy. Sands Rival the first store established in the 1970s and is famed for its Sands Rival Cakes and Silvanas, a frozen cookie variation of the Sands Rival. The firm has subsequently expanded into a bistro next door, thanks to popular demand from Filipino visitors who bring goodies home to families. Although the traditional Sands Rivals remains, it now offers serves rice dinners and other confectioneries. Balinsaseo Twin Lakes Lake Balinsaseo and Lake Danao are two small but deep fresh water lakes that make up the area. On a clear day, the sky's azure reflects in the water of the Twin Lakes, creating the ideal setting for relaxation. The lakes are surrounded on all sides by narrow mountains with lush vegetation. The landscape seems like something out of a storybook or folklore when the mountains are obscured by mist. Getting to the Twin Lakes is an adventure, much like journeying to a mysterious land in a story. The soothing ambiance will wash away any undesirable stress once a visitor arrives. Silliman University Campus Built in 1901, this city's oldest and largest campus is known for its capacity to generate high-class graduates. This school, which is ranked 8th in the country and is among the top 300 universities in Asia, is a source of pride for the city of Dumaguete. Silliman University is a site steeped in history, so it's only right that it has an anthropology museum. Visitors can view remains of ancient Filipino culture for a small cost. The oldest exhibits date from 200 BC tapestries, ceramics, swords, and ancient medicinal procedures, as well as more current souvenirs, are among the things on display. Rizal Boulevard Dr. Jose Rizal, a national hero in the Philippines, is honored with the name Rizal Boulevard. Aside from the fact that it was named for Dr. Jose Rizal, a national hero, what makes this area even more lovely is the picturesque sea vista it gives visitors. Plus, if you're looking for some culinary experiences, this location features a number of stalls on the side that offer tempura, the city's most popular street food. Quezon Park This large and lovely park, located across from the cathedral and belfry, has a lot to offer. There are statues, a gazebo-like structure, and some blooming. This park allows for complete relaxation as well as some sightseeing. Proceed to this location to catch a glimpse of the city, sample some of the local street cuisine, or perhaps have a discounted massage from blind massage therapists. Catherine of Alexander Church This edifice, which began construction in 1774 and was completed in 1776, is the province's oldest stone church. The church is one of the attractions you must see because of its strategic placement opposite Quezon Park. The Catherine of Alexandria Church is the oldest stone church on the island of Negros. 
This is the main reason why Dumaguete City Park is often packed on Sundays, as it is just a short walk from the Dumaguete Belfry. This is the seat of the Dumaguete Diocese and one of the biggest Roman Catholic churches in the area. Belfry Tower This Belfry Tower, also known as Campanaria, has been standing for over 200 years. The Dumaguete Belfry is one of the most iconic tourist spots in Dumaguete, popular among history buffs and spiritual seekers visiting the city. With its iconic history of being used as a watchtower during World War II and as a device to give the signal for the locals, the historical essence and beauty of this tower are just beyond measure. This antique bell tower is a popular tourist attraction in Dumaguete and a must-see on any city tour. Chinese Bell Church This Chinese Bell Church is an example of a classic Taoist temple, which is why so many people come here to pray or reflect. The location is close to the beach and is open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The Chinese Bell Church in Dumaguete City is a bright landmark visible from Rizal Boulevard's southern end. The traditional Chinese design and planted gardens of the Taoist temple are well worth a visit. You are free to walk the grounds and give a somber prayer while breathing in the fresh seacoast air of the city. Mangrove Park and Bird Sanctuary at Tabalong A 400 hectare protected mangrove forest may be found in Bay City's Bird Sanctuary and Mangrove Park. Many bird species and other creatures use it as a natural habitat and nesting site. A strip of white side runs through the park, visible only during low tides, where visitors can have a picnic or participate in other activities such as Lake Balanan is a freshwater lake in the mountains of Barangay Sandulot in Siadan, a municipality in Negros Oriental Province's southern region. The Lamarau Creek in the northeast, the Balanan Creek in the middle, and the Nasigid in the northern part of the lake are all fed by mountain ranges. Pulang Bado Falls Pula signifies red in the dialect, and Bado means rock, hence the name Pulang Bado, red rock. Pulang Bado is a red princess, as the cold waters run through the naturally reddish rocks of the Red Rock Valley's falls and river, according to its name. The Pulang Bado Falls are bordered by red cliffs and lush green vegetation, making for a picture-perfect setting. Pulongbado is a comfortable and relaxing area to unwind because it is located far enough from Valencia's main town. The Malatape Market is a unique market where you can buy nearly anything, including fruits, vegetables, crops, rice, fish, crab, chicken, shoes, handbags, accessories, knives, tires, ropes, live animals, carabaos, lechon, and much more. Malatape Market in Malue Zambongida has evolved not only as a place to buy a variety of goods, but also as a tourist attraction due to its reputation as the gateway to the world-famous Apo Island. Mount Canlaon with an elevation of 2,465 meters above sea level, Canlaon, also known as Mount Canlaon and Canlaon Volcano, is an active stratovolcano and the tallest mountain on the Philippine island of Negros, as well as the highest point in the Visayas. Mount Canlaon is the world's 42nd highest mountain on an island. This active volcano, which is the tallest point in the region, is stunning from afar and worthy of attention. Just be aware that although it is active, it is still sending out indications of possible eruptions. A perfect place for every group for different kinds of activities such as swimming and kayaking. The spring appeared to be a huge swimming pool with ice-cold water. The Mabane Spring Resort is nestled in a lush tropical jungle. It is a popular spot for folks to spend quality time with their families and friends. 
The place is built around a large bathing lagoon. Visitors can also fly above the lagoon on a zip line or get high up amongst the trees and enjoy the canopy walk. Filipino-American Japanese Amity Shrine on the Highlands of Valencia, the historical obelisk of the Filipino-American Japanese Amity Shrine stands. The massive shrine stands on the exact spot where a fierce World War II fighting took place. The Phil and Japanese shrine was created to honor the souls of those who died fighting in the bloody conflict. The shrine represents the end of a sad era and the beginning of a new age of peace and friendship between the three countries. Casaroro Falls The Casaroro Falls in Valencia are a popular tourist attraction in Dumaguete, a nearby city. Despite the steep and sometimes difficult route to get there, this natural tourism destination has won the hearts of many travelers. The Casaroro Falls cool waters cascade 30 meters down into a basin, where they run swiftly down a stream. The stunning aspect of the spectacular waterfall is matched with gigantic boulders and forestry plants, creating a picture-perfect destination to visit. Mabane Caves Bulwong The Mabane Bulwong Caves are simple to explore for beginners. Bulwong is the name of the barangay where the caverns are located and meaning, large hole. A tricycle journey from the Mabane bus terminal takes 20 minutes. You can request the bus driver to stop at the area's entrance if you're coming from Dumaguete. There are three caves open to beginners. These caves are ideal for those who are new to this type of adventure because they are simple to enter and explore. To ensure your safety, make sure you have your guide with you at all times. Tanyong Strait Dolphin Watching Bay City is well known for its closeness to the town strait, a protected marine sanctuary. The boat departs from the Kapiahan Wharf in the South Bay for Bay Bay and the town strait, where dolphins play in the water and whales surface from the depths. Dolphins in bays it's incredible to see and experience these aquatic creatures up close. Swimming, sunbathing, snorkeling, and scuba diving on the adjacent reefs are among the other activities available. Tierra Alta a magical beauty nestles among the luxuriant foliage on the slopes of Palimpinan in Valencia, Negros Oriental. It is a beauty surrounded by breathtaking sights, valuable works of art, and majestic architectural edifices that have been meticulously created. Tierra Alta Residential Resort is all about combining the best of resort environment with the quiet and solitude of the mountainside, dining at its finest. This restaurant is perfectly described by that phrase. This well-known restaurant is just gorgeous and attractive, since it is located on a mountainside with a magnificent view of the city. Manjuyod's White Sand Bar The White Sand Bar sometimes known as the Maldives of the Philippines, did not get its name for nothing. With the white fine white sand and the beautiful blue ocean, you will definitely feel as if you have journeyed to another part of the world as you relax in this location. Apo Island Apo Island is a 74-hectare volcanic island located 7 kilometers off the southeastern edge of Negros Island and 30 kilometers south of the Philippines' Negros Oriental city of Dumaguete. In Visayan languages, the name, Apo, signifies, older, or, honored ancestor. White beaches, sparkling blue sea, maybe pleasant natives, and tropical greenery are all common features. Apo Island has it all, but its major draw is concealed beneath the waters, out of sight. One of the best scuba diving spots in the Philippines, a coral reef that is a protected marine sanctuary, can be found on the island. 
Apo Island would be an excellent stop for visitors who aren't scuba divers when in Negros Oriental. Your trip to Negros Oriental would not be complete if you only limit it to Dumaget City. There are a lot of tourist attractions in Negros Oriental to discover. If you enjoyed this video, please share it. Please let me know. Simply leave a comment in the box below. For more travel videos videos, go here. Please subscribe to this channel let's do it together.